hard working. This is what strikes me when I hear her name. Aza Fatima of grade 3. She is beloved daughter of Mr. Muhammad Shajul and Ms. Fairuz Eman. Speech is really an art, an art of presentation. Let's talk the speech competition. Power the way to blossom, the young birds like me. She is a student with competitive spirit and has actively participated in Math Olympiad for the last three years. She has won prizes in Sahodaya Kids Fest 2019. She has been awarded as the best student of the year in 2015. She is mainly interested in doing creative works. Let's invite our energetic girl Aza Fatima to the stage. consisting of father, mother, and two children. The father, the lone breadwinner, was diagnosed of cancer and in few days he died, leaving the mother and children alone. The neighbors came to their home and gave them food for a few days. As days passed, People started forgetting this family as they were so busy in their own life. The mother tried to arrange food, but she didn't get any food. They all slept with hunger. After a few days, being tired, the younger son got sick. Seeing his bad condition, the elder child asked her mother, Mom, when will my brother die? The shocked mother, in tears and pain, asked the child, What are you saying? The little girl replied, If my brother dies, we will get food at least for a few days, like we got food when father passed away. Wonderful guests, esteemed teachers, Parents and all my dear friends, myself as a Fatima is here to share some of my thoughts related to this story. Poverty. Poverty is a condition where people are not able to meet the basic necessities of life like food, water, clothes or shelter. When we travel, we can see some people who are begging for one day meal. Can you believe that? As per humans of 3.1 million children below fire, there is each year out of hunger. There are millions of our people in a world who suffer from poverty. Whether it's rainy or summer, the streets are their bedrooms and the dogs are their playmates. My dear friends, can you think for a while? When we are provided with all facilities in life, elegant home, delicious food, beautiful clothes, better schools and hospitals, so on and so on, there are many kids like us engaging back breaking hard labor to support their families. They carry bricks. When we carry books and bags, the search for food in waste bins, when we waste food. So, when we eat our food, let's think, let's remember, there are millions the word of this. They put their face in plain soil when we change our beds every night. This is the reality, the reality of our fellow human beings, the reality of our friends in different parts of the world. Are we thankful to God for all these blessings? Don't we upset when our parents forget to buy us a chocolate? Don't we cry when we want an additional toy to play? 
Yes, we all want everything for granted. Otherwise, we'll be sad. Rather being sad in what we don't have, we need to be happy in what we have. Because there are many people in the world who don't have even what we have. In this great occasion, I would like to request friend, my friends to join with me in taking an oath. An oath that will never waste food, not even a single drop of water. And we should do that all is possible to help others who are in need of our help. Let us hope for a prosperous world without poverty. Thank you and wish you a good time ahead.